Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. This is going to be a blessed, and I want to say blessed program, because this is your yeah. blessed day. I'm telling you, precious saints, with me is a wonderful man of God. In fact, I did not know it was the same Coy Barker that I used to go <laughs> preach for back in Oklahoma City. I walk into that, I'm thinking, I know that man. <laughs> it's so good to uh, see you. It really is so, so good. excited. You I, know, we had some of the most powerful miracles uh, in that church uh, in Oklahoma City. What year was that? That was back in the 80s. It had to be in the late 80s. Yeah. And I mean just waves of miracles. I'm not talking about just one or two miracles. Pastor Benny, it was Listen, waves. I was just so thrilled because I used to go and be with him regularly. And, and you know, I'm thinking, can this be the same Coy Barker <laughs> I used to go preach for? You, of course, you're a little older. Yeah, silver-headed. Yeah, me, me too, me too. My Lord, how wonderful it is to see you. Wow. Just amazing. I, what God I got so blessed walk, when I walked in, I said, oh, my Lord, look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and it's just, this, is, this is a mighty man of God, okay, precious saints. He's had, goodness, how many churches have you pastored that you've actually, eight, eight churches eight. that you pastored, you built up. built up, and then you gave it to somebody and went yeah. on. That's really your gift. It, it is an apostolic gift that God granted me. Just totally apostolic, working in the supernatural, breaking financial curses off people, having... Now, people. I did not know that part about you. I know you didn't. No, because, I, you know, when, when we're together... You saw I don't, me as a pastor. Well, exactly. And so it's like God has so gifted me, pastor, to help people to enter Call in. me Benny, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank to, you. To enter into everything God has for them. And I think it's such a strategic moment in the kingdom of God around the world. You were sharing something really very strong and powerful with me before the program, before we taped, on what the Lord has given you for today that's really very it's a God strong. Word. No. It's a God He's word. been praying since 4 o'clock this morning. Yes. We've been fasting and praying. Yes. When he knew he was going to be with me, he just began praying that the Lord would really use these programs to really bless you, sweet partners, yes. around the world. Yes. Because, listen, this is an amazing time. I mean, he just said so. I, you know, just yesterday, uh, I know this is being shown later, but they, they have an agreement now with Iran. Yeah. And this is going to change the face yes. of the world. Yes, it the is. The Middle East is already changing. The map is changing. Yes. These radical groups are there now that were not there a few years ago. Syria is about to be dismantled. Yes. Prophecy is getting fulfilled so rapidly in that part of the world. I mean, you can almost see what's coming sure if, you, if, you, if you study prophecy. If you know this book at all. Dear Lord, it's really, I mean, to me, and this is what I want to say. If you know this book, you know what's coming. I mean, I'm sure most people are confused of what's going on, but not the believer. The believer knows that God is on the throne and he is in charge of what's going yes. on. Yes, he is. For a purpose, for yes, his glory. And maybe, you know what? Maybe this is the time that Oral Roberts prophesied yes. about. Yes. And yes. Rex Humbard yes. and Catherine Kuhlman. Yes. I heard Catherine say, she said, the day will come where the power of God will be so strong there will not be any sick people in the church. That's right. There's coming a wave of it. And I've seen a little bit of it with you where it was like everybody that was sick in that house that had... Well, that happened at your church. I mean, yeah. it was profound. It was... I mean, we heard testimonies for weeks and months of people who had incurables that were healed instantly. Oh, Lord Jesus. And so... And the first time I ever saw you, I was young, black-headed, and uh, there was such an anointing such a gifting that was on your life till it affected me. It so touched me. It stirred way deep inside me that I began to seek God, say, God, I want to bring help to this generation. You know, I'm preaching a lot overseas now. Mm. Uh, a lot of my big meetings are overseas. In wow. fact, I have some big ones coming up here. You'll be with me in one of them. 
Long Island, New York, Brooklyn, New York, and Mesquite, Texas. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But I want to hear the word that God has put in your heart today. Because I'm so thrilled about <laughs> having you and hearing what God has to say through you. It's just, it, it's amazing when God gives you a now word. And every person that's listening right now, this is for them. Okay, tell them. It's, it's not by happenstance. It's not by chance. And let me tell you, right up front, I'm going to tell you that you're on the edge of the greatest moment you've ever lived in your life. Amen, Lord. Let I be. feel and sense such an anointing of the Holy Spirit Amen. as me and Pastor Benny come to you in Jesus' name. I promise you that there is going to be supernatural manifestations. Amen. And God began to speak to my heart, and he said to tell you to listen. Turn the volume up a little bit and listen deep in your heart because I see by the Spirit of God, miracle after miracle for your family. I see people in pain and, and losses have left you staggered. You don't even know for sure what to do. But God is about to turn your whole world around. This is a moment of a turnaround. Amen, There's God moments. Amen. I've lived them. God moments where God just shows up and he begins to manifest his power. And I speak to you as a prophetic voice on an assignment from God with the permission of the great man of God to speak into your life a God word. And this God word came from the heavens to me as I was prostrate before God saying, God, you know exactly what is needed in that person's life. You know before I know it. And God began to pour this inside me. And I want to say to you, in a minute, I'm going to ask you to take a step of faith. I'm going to ask you to have action in your faith. Everything that happens in the kingdom of God happens through faith. Faith is the currency of the kingdom of God. Faith wow. is action. My life has been a life of the miraculous. I've seen God do the impossible. I've seen the little twisted limbs of a baby totally stretch out in a moment's time instantaneously before God. I have seen the supernatural. So I'm not coming to you and talking about something that might be. I'm telling you this is a God moment. Amen. This is a holy moment. Amen. This is an anointed moment. Amen. And God is going to turn things around in your family, in your household, in your finances, in your debts. God is going to break the power of the enemy that has been intimidating and harassing you. This is such a God moment with me and Pastor Benny. I'm telling you, I feel such a connection, such an anointing, such a supernatural. I never will forget before I read you this God word, straight out of the book, I just want to read you a God word and then ask you to do. And let me just say this to you. Every miracle that you ask God for, he gives you an instruction. So I come as an errand boy to tell you a God instruction in just a moment. Because when you obey the God instruction, heaven opens, miracles flow like rivers, and whatever you need in your life, that quick can be changed. Oh, so I want you to get ready, get your cell phone in your hand, get your computer top ready, because I'm telling you, God is going to show himself strong in your life. Amen. Great exploits Amen. are going to happen Amen. in this program Amen. right now. There is such an awareness that I have of the Holy Spirit that God has called us together for such a moment as this. some of you have become so discouraged, so dark clouds of disappointment over your head, God's fixing to blow the breath of the Holy Spirit Thank into you, your Lord. life. Thank the darkness Lord. is going to depart. You, Miracles are going to flow like Thank rivers. You, this is a God moment in your life. Get ready. Get your heart open. God's going to call you out of your comfort zone into the supernatural zone. He's going to take you into a realm of the Spirit. I remember so very well, and I was praying this morning, seeking God for this moment. The Lord reminded me when they brought me a lady named Letha in Alabama and brought her in on a stretcher. She was gasping for air. She weighed 78 pounds. Mm. The major hospital in Birmingham sent her home, told her family she only has a few hours left. 
She's eat up with cancer head to toe. They brought her in an ambulance with two workers, her daughter under an oxygen tent, all kinds of stuff running in her veins. And the Holy Spirit told me, stop the service. We just started worshiping God. He said, stop the service. I am going to heal Letha now. Mm. And listen to me carefully. I was frightened, but the Lord said, you're going to step out of your comfort zone. I'm going to do a miracle. I told the paramedics, I said, take all of the stuff off of her. I'm not going to pray for her under oxygen tent. I'm not going to pray for her with all the vein, all the stuff in her veins, up her nose. All, I'm not going to do it. And the daughter said, Mama, he wants all the stuff pulled off of you. The paramedics are saying you're going to die. And she, with a weak, trembling voice, said, take it off of me. Mm. They pulled it all off of her. I reached over and took her little frail hands, and I said, Letha, in the name that's above every name, Amen, the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke Amen, the spirit of death, Amen. and that frail little body began to Amen. tremble and shake under the power of God. Amen. Her ashen gray cheeks turned rosy pink under the anointing of God. I reached and lifted her off of that, that stretcher, and when her feet hit the floor, she couldn't dance a lot, but she began to move those feet. All of a sudden, that whole service exploded. She began to circle that building absolutely under the power and the anointing of God. Mm. God this morning reminded me of this. He said, there is going to be so many miracles in this time with Pastor Benny. It's going to be amazing. God's going to break open the vaults of heaven. Thank you, Lord. He's going to show you his glory in a new realm, in a new anointing, in a supernatural vein that some of you have never, ever been in. This is your God moment. Now, listen to me carefully. I believe with all my heart, God always gives a word in due season. He gives a God word in a due season. Right now, you may have thought you just tuned in. No, God ordered your footsteps. You might think, I just am listening. No, God ordered your footsteps. Exactly. This is that moment you've prayed for. You've asked others to pray with you. This is that moment. Not next week, not next month. This is that God moment right now for you to break open. I sense such a spirit. You're going to break every restriction that hell has placed wow. upon you. You're entering a realm where there will be no limits to what God will do in your family. God will do in your household. I see your sons and daughters being set free. I see a mate being set free. You have sought God for your mate. Let me tell you something. Heaven is about to break the chains. God is about to show him self money. I want to speak to those who are saying, you know what, Coy, I need such a miracle financially in my life. This is the word God gave me. You need a miracle in your household. You need a miracle in your finances. You need a miracle in your life. Whatever that area is, I want you to listen to what God said. It's found in Amos the prophet as he spoke. Now, let me just say this. The Bible said, if you receive a prophetic word, you will prosper. That's, right. That's the way he said it. Second Chronicles 20, 20. He said, if you believe the prophet, the mouthpiece of God, you shall prosper and God will establish you. So I come with absolute confidence that the word of God coming forth out of my mouth is going to change Amen. your tomorrows. Amen. It will not be the same. Listen to me. Your yesterdays are gone. Amen. God is creating a future for you that is going to be amazing and astounding. When you hear, and listen, when you obey an instruction from God, instantly things begin to happen. I never will forget a single mom. My heart goes out to single moms because many times they're under financial pressure. I was receiving an offering. She came to me and she said to me, this is a sacrifice, but I'm going to give $1,000 offering for my miracle. And I said, what is it that you need? She said, you know, my old jalopy car for me and my baby, it breaks down. It won't run. And I said, okay. I receive in Jesus' name this step of faith, and I believe God's going to show his power. She went to the same cleaners I go to, 
She put that check in my hand. I prayed over it. And I said, what kind of car do you want? And she looked at me and she said, can I speak the desire of my heart? I said, absolutely. She said, the desire of my heart, listen to me carefully, is a black new BMW and I want it debt free. I said, okay. I took, prayed over that thousand dollar seed. Are you listening to me? See, it takes getting out of your comfort zone, That's doing right. what you don't think you can do, moving beyond whatever other negative voices said to you and saying, God, you're almighty. I took that because I knew when it touched my hands that God was going to do a miracle in her life. She took her clean into the same cleaners that I went to on a Saturday. After we'd done that on Sunday, she pulled up to this cleaners, was getting out of her car with her little boy, and she heard a voice, and the voice said, woman, and she stopped, and she looked over, and there was a foreign-looking man. She said, you talking to me? He said, yes, I am. So he walked over to the car from his black BMW. He walked over to her, and he said, I just bought this new car. When you drove up on the parking lot to go in the cleaners, the Holy Spirit of God that I live with every day said, you are to give that woman your new car. It's debt free. I want you to sign the deed, the title over to her. Give her that car. She come flying up on the parking lot of the church and jumped out and said, Apostle, Apostle, look what my thousand dollars did. And I just stood there and wept. I mean, I just wept because to be honest, it was above even what I thought God could do that quickly. But God did it in a less than a week. Now, here's what the Lord's saying. You're going to see us suddenly begin to happen in your life. When you take this step of faith, you move out of your comfort zone. You do what you don't think you can do. You move beyond every, uh, every voice that has come against you, every negativity that's tried to stop you, and you obey the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. This is a moment for miracles. Listen to what the prophet Amos said in chapter 9, and verse number 13. And then King James has said, the sower and the reaper will be in the field at the same time. I study just for my pleasure and feed me a little Bible called the Message Bible. Here's what the Message Bible said. Yes, indeed, it won't be long now, saith the Lord. I want you to receive that. This is not me speaking. This is a God word to you. He said, yes, indeed, God did. It won't be long now because this is my decree to your life. Now, listen carefully. God's making a decree to you that's going to turn things around quickly, a suddenly, a miracle. And, and I, I hear you saying, well, Coy, I, I don't know. I, I no." We're going to move beyond, I don't know, we're going to move beyond the intimidation of the enemy. We're going to move into a realm that you have never walked in in your life. Listen to what he says. It won't be long now is God's decree. He said things are going to happen so fast mm. your head will swim. Have you ever had so many good things happen so quickly it made your head swim? I'm telling you, that's where you're sitting right now. Heaven has opened. Thank you, the Lord. glory of God Thank has you, settled into this ministry with me and Pastor Benny right now, and God's going to move so fast your head is going to swim. Your family is being changed. Thank you, Jesus. When you obey the instruction I'm going to give you in just a moment, you run to the phone, you move quickly when I give you the the command to move, I'm telling you, change is going to happen. And it's going to happen so quick. I feel this all over me until your head is going to spin. Do you hear me? Listen to what he said. He said, suddenly one thing fast on the heels of the other. Mm. Are you ready? I just got to ask you, are you ready for a suddenly because I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you, thus saith the Lord God to you. Mm. He said, a suddenly is going to happen. Now, let me tell you what that means. And let's break it down in good old common every day. That means an acceleration is coming to your life 
right now, when you get ready and pick that phone up in a moment, or you go to the internet and give your faith promise to God, make that move with God, use your credit card, whatever you have to do to get your seed in the ground. He said, I am going to move at such a acceleration into your life. Listen, you have cried to God. You have prayed. Listen, your, your tears have not gone unnoticed. Right. But let me say this to you. God's heart is touched by our needs. His heart's touched. But he only has his hands moving when I give a seed of faith. My seed of faith offering moves the hands of God. I don't know about you. I need God's hands moving in my life. I'm thankful his heart's touched by my feelings of my infirmities. But the Bible makes it clear from Genesis to the maps that God's hands move when I offer to him a sacrifice seed. When I give God a seed offering, when I say, God, this is something that's a supernatural seed. It's something beyond. Then you and I right now, you know what we're needing? We're needing God's hands to move. Right. When I have a need, I need God's hands. When I have a need, you know what I do? I put a seed in the kingdom. I begin to put seed in the kingdom. I've worked with people for over four decades now of preaching this gospel around the world, many nations of the world. I've seen it in the most poverty-stricken areas, and I've seen it across America to where when they obey the instruction of God, mm. God begins to move beyond their wildest expectation. Now, look what he said. He said, I'm going to move until you won't be able to keep up with it. He signs this thing off. He said, everything is going to be happening at once. Everything is going to be happening at oh, once. Jesus. Everywhere you look, it's going to happen. Now, listen, a God instruction now, this is not my instruction. It's a God instruction. God said there was many of you who could give 20,000, 10,000, 50,000, get your seed in the ground. You need a change that's far beyond what money can do. You need God to do something, your family, your household, your losses. Listen to me carefully. And God said there was a mass of you. That's the word he said to me, a mass of you that he's going to ask to step into the supernatural and give a thousand dollar. Something happened in my life. The first time I ever gave a thousand dollars, something broke loose in my life. The, the chains that helped me were gone. The captivity that helped me was broken off of my life. The same thing's going to happen to you. I'm asking you right now to obey a God instruction. I'm going to pray for you. We're going to pray with you. The same power and I could go on talking miracle after miracle that people have obeyed God. I had a man who had great financial need, walked in, put a $20,000 check in my hand mm -hmm. and said, Coy, I need a miracle in my business. Out of his obedience, suddenly, 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 swimming, his head was swimming, God began to pour million-dollar contracts into his hands. You say, how did that happen? Because God said, when you obey me and you respond to an instruction, out of that instruction, heaven begins to move. So I'm telling you right now, and there's many of you. Let me tell you, I've learned something, that when I make a faith promise, and I'm going to ask you to do something when you're sitting there arguing with God, I want to ask you in this season of Jubilee, this season of being free from debts and family problems and issues in your life, I'm going to ask some of you to either give a one-time gift of $600 or $50 a month. 50 represents Jubilee. 50 is a key number in the Bible. 50 breaks things open, heals the brokenhearted, sets the captives free, does the miracles of God. And I'm going to ask you in Jesus' name, some of you right now need to run to the phone, dial that number, and say, I'm one of those for the next 12 months, I'm going to give $50 a month to this ministry. Or take your credit card, give it one time $600. If I was you, we go out and buy stuff on our credit cards all the time. We buy gas, we buy clothes, we buy whatever. I would take my credit card and I would put $600 on it. I'd get my seed in the ground right now so God can start a whirlwind of blessings coming to your life. This is your moment. 
I'm here on a God assignment. Right. It's a prophetic assignment with this great man of God to tell you this really is your day for a miracle. Pray for him right now. Amen. On, on, Amen. On Father, I just Amen, release Lord. the power. I call them my to do Lord, the I, unusual. I, 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 I thank you for uncommon miracles. Yeah. I break every shackle, every spirit of fear, yes, every Lord. intimidation. Yeah. I command blessings like they've never seen, family restoration like they never dreamed of. Let it come into their lives. Heal them of their brokenness. Heal their broken body. Set them free financially as they take this step of faith right now in Jesus' name. Come on. Make the phones ring. Get on the internet. It's a secure site. Make the investment in the kingdom of God. Don't put it off. If you put it off, you'll miss your miracle. This is the moment. Listen, Thank keep, you. keep calling, but I feel such an anointing Shut here. Up. Dear oh, Jesus, gosh. heal your people mm. too, Lord. Mm. Mm. Heal your people, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bring them out of disease and sickness yes. and pain and yes. misery and bondage My God. and darkness in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Not only out of death, but bring them out of bondage, bondage. all kinds bondage. of bondage. That sickness will go in the name of Jesus. My God, there's an anointing here. Woo, woo, my God. Jesus, Jesus. Listen, listen. You call the number on the mm. screen because the grounds are moist. Yes, they are. And when they're yes, moist they like this, you sow that seed quick. Don't wait when it lifts because once that anointing is it's gone, it. it's gone. It's gone. Keep calling and believe God to heal you when you call too. Listen, yes, listen. you're yes. not sowing seed to be healed, okay? You're sowing seed to see God bless you financially and take That's care it. of the bondage That's financially. It. But you say, Lord, I'm believing you for a healing today for me and my yes. family. Yes. In Jesus' name, keep calling. Yes, it shall. Awesome. Awesome. Pastor Benny Hinn sends regular teaching messages through the mail with rich material which will bless and empower your spiritual life. Many of you are not on our mailing list and you're missing a lot because we send out teachings in the mail in these brochures. Here's one on the anointing. Here's one on the three realms of prayer, beautifully done with pictures and the teaching is all there. Very nice, Paul Crouch told me years ago. He said, I enjoy most your teachings that you send in the mail. How can you get them unless you're on the mailing list? So write me today, post office box 16, 2000 Urban, Texas whole lot quicker to just call the number on the screen that's toll free or go online. Don't miss this opportunity to begin receiving Pastor Benny's regular teaching messages through the mail. Write, call, or request them online today. Benny Hinn is coming to New York City. He invites you to join him to hear the life-changing Word of God, experience the presence of the Holy Spirit in worship, and witness Jesus' miraculous healing power. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus is good, and He's healed me. Benny Hinn will be at Ministerio Jesu Cristo Vive in Smithtown, Long Island, August 13th and 14th, followed by services at the Evangelical Crusade Christian Church in Brooklyn, August 15th and 16th. He'll see you there.